Hello, my name is Anne Lendrum and I am a Community Development Officer for Ards and Northumbria Council. In this video, I will talk through how to complete the Christmas Festival Grant application form. Before I go through the form, it is worth noting a few important points for completing and submitting the grant application. The application is scored, therefore, please ensure all sections are completed with as much detail as possible. Late, incomplete or altered applications cannot be accepted and all supporting documents must be included when submitting the application. There are three sections to the application plus the Government Funding Database section. Every applicant must complete all sections in the application. Please note the Christmas Festival must include switching on of Christmas lights and it must also be in one of the eligible towns or villages which are Ballygown, Ballyhalbert, Ballywalter, Caradour, Cumber, Conlaig, Clocky, Donaghadee, Grey Abbey, Grimsport, Helens Bay, Hollywood, Calinche, Kirkubbin, Malisle, Portaferry and Portavogie. The grip applying must also be a constituted community grip. Section 1 is gathering your grip's information and the eligibility to apply. Question 1 asks you to input the name and relevant contact details for the grip. Please fill in each part to ensure that communication can be made easily. It is also important to confirm in this question that your community grip is constituted. In question two, please provide general information about the festival. For example, are there any activities on during the festival and how the community will be involved? Question three, four and five ask where and when the festival will take place and how many people are expected to attend. These details must be completed fully, including the time the festival will run from and to. Attendance figures can be based on previous Christmas festival or, if this is the first time the festival will run, please give an estimated figure including how you came to the estimation. Section 2 gathers more information about the festival. This section is scored so please put in as much detail as possible in your answers. In question 6, please tell us how you will make the festival open and accessible for all members of the community to attend. List any measures that you will be putting in place to help this. Question 7 is asking about the promotion of the festival. When answering this question, please list how you will promote the event so that people are encouraged to attend. Question 8 is about the volunteers for the event. In your answer, please tell us how you will encourage local people to become involved and volunteer at the festival and what the volunteers' roles will be. Following on with the volunteering aspect, Question 9 is looking for information on any new skills that volunteers will gain by taking part in the festival and if they will be undertaking any training sessions to equip them for volunteering at the festival. Question 10 asks you to tell us about any collaborations or partnerships with other community groups or organisations that your group will be working with to run the Christmas festival and how you will work together. When answering question 11, think about how the festival will contribute to building a strong sense of community and include information on how the festival you are running will promote community relations in the town or village. The final question in this section is value for money. Please list in the table how the funds will be spent, including the total cost for the item and the cost applied for through the application. Please note that the maximum amount available for villages is £1,000 and towns is £3,000. Section 3. Information in this section is not scored, however the information is required and must therefore be fully complete. Remember, incomplete applications cannot be accepted. Questions 13 and 14 are about the property or land being used during the festival and asks for confirmation about permissions to use the land and if you plan to close any roads during the festival. For these questions, please refer to the guidance and criteria notes too. Question 15 is about sustainability and looks at how your group would run the festival in the future. In this, include what measures your group would take, for example, this may be through funding events or activities. The final question in section 3 looks at evaluation. In your answer, please explain how the festival will be evaluated, what tools will be used and how the information will be gathered and analysed. The final compulsory section on the application is the Government Funding Database. In this section, if your group is registered and the details are on the Government Funding Database, please include the unique reference number. If your group is not yet registered, please note that if you are successful in your application for funding, 
the group will be required to register on the government funding database to receive any monies. There are several essential documents which must be submitted with your application form. Without these documents, your application cannot be scored. These must be the most recent and up to date. Additional documents may be required depending on your particular group or festival. For example, if your group works with children, please include the child protection policy and if your festival involves members of the public, you would need to include the public liability insurance that will cover the festival. The final part is to input your name, position in the group and sign and date the application. A digital signature is acceptable. When your form is complete and ready to be sent, please save your form as a PDF as this will ensure that the application cannot be altered if emailed. The application can be emailed to communitygrants at ardsandnorthdown.gov.uk or posted to the Community Development Manager, Ards and North Down Borough Council, 16 South Street, Unit 5 Conway Building, Newton Ards, BT 23 4JT.